everybody and welcome to another video tutorial thing that I do. In this video, we are going to make a desert house. Uh, we've done one in the past, but this is a little bit different. It's not exactly the same. It looks a little bit like it, but uh, it's not exactly the same. But we're going to do one of these kind of styled houses, which I'm making here in this city type of thing. This is the house we're going to be making, this one right here. It has a shop, two floors, stair, and uh, it is um, two by one, whatever you call it, like three by three, three by three, three by three, yeah, you know what I mean. It's a pretty easy style. I think you'll catch up really quick. And yeah, so this is what we're going to be making. Quick look. There you go. And we're gonna start. Right, to start off this build, this is the layout you're going to want to make of uh, planning of the build. Uh, it's not that big, but it's pretty easy to make. Just pause the video right here and copy it over and you'll be fine. Now to continue on, we're going to start with our locks. And as most of the houses I do, we're gonna make them go four up and then connect them. Yeah, that, that's, that's basically it. <laughs> Go four up and connect them each time. And you're gonna go the all whole way around here. Through here. 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 And in here. And now where I've placed these uh, corner pieces, you're just gonna bring those one up. Like that. And you're gonna place a stair on top of those. Spruce stair to be exact. And then you're going to place slabs in between this. Uh, not where the sandstone is. In between the two sticking out locks. And then leave a gap for the door and leave this open because we're going to have a shop there. Now you can take smooth sandstone and just fill in all the walls. Just like that, really quick and simple. Leave a gap and you can place two there for a door. Then just simply connect that and then fill in your walls. I'm telling you this this is a really easy style and it's really easy to make and it's also fun to make because it doesn't take uh, it doesn't take long to make uh, next you're going to take sandstone stairs and place them upside down everywhere where you left a two wide gap just like so and one in here now for the next part we could actually put in uh, the roof which is a little bit different than you expect so you're gonna take uh, grass and sandstone slabs and you're gonna fill this in right here you can actually remove that and fill this in as well and then you're gonna take the sandstone slabs and just make cover it all up make sure you don't see any of the dirt because it's not pleasant to see and nobody wants to see it there you go. There's going to be a other type of uh, little small hut there, so you can fill that up with planks, and we misplaced one here. Now we're going to take fences, and we're going to place them where our windows are. Really easy, simple, you know the drill. Like that. And then make these uh, logs stick out one more, and then we're nearly done with our first layer only thing we have to do now is place in our trap doors you leave these two because uh, you can't place two trap doors like next to it and if you place one it's gonna look odd and you don't want to make things look odd so then you just take your slabs and fill this up for the rest of it like this all right then what you can do is you can place a, a stair here, but we're going to do that at the end. But first we're going to raise this up, four again, make them connect. Make a, a small 3x3 three three square. And then make these ones stick out again. Like this. Connect them up with slabs. It's, it's a really repetitive... Uh, style it's easy to it's I can't oh, I can't stress this enough this is so easy well I can't stress it enough but it's so easy to make like there's no effort to this I mean of course if you're starting to build um, 
there's always things you can learn and learning is why you are here and I'm showing you how you can use these type of styles in your own boats because that's what I do that's what I'm trying to do at least so we're going to finish up this second layer really quick like this there's gonna be a door there you can replace that with a uh, grass and then basically some trap doors right where your windows are now what you want to do with this is you want to fill this uh, outer border of uh, wood up with slabs and where you have this free wide gap you're gonna place uh, these kind of arches pyramids pyramid kind of stuff now uh, we're gonna make a balcony here so we're gonna do that one up and I do believe I placed the wall I am not 100% sure but we'll make it work place two stairs facing towards each other one upside down slap uh, connecting them and going like this I am pretty confident that's how it looks yes now we're going to make this border as well just go all the way around make the small pyramids all the way around I got scratched my nose I'm so sorry now we are going to take sandstone stairs there you go and everywhere where there's this middle block you're gonna replace it with an upside down sandstone stair there you go there you go there you go now you're gonna place one there 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 and like that uh, now we can quickly place in our doors because it looks a lot better with doors over there and over here now we're going to add in our stairway so you can remove this side all the way and you want to take your slabs and you want to start off one off by this sticking out lock and you're just gonna uh, just basically go up and where you have this part you're just gonna carve it in and place another slab you want to fill this whole thing up well you don't have to fill this whole thing up because we're gonna extend it one more but it's just because I know it's filled up then we're gonna go all the way to the end again and we're just gonna each time make it stick up half a block where we have it so we have like this kind of border type of thing uh, something you can't fall through and now what we want to do is we want to make our market stand and we want to make it go two out each time like that and then go one down just like that I'm pretty sure okay I'm not 100% sure so I'm going to check I should have checked at the start Yep, 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 that's right. So we're going to place, like you saw before, uh, locks there and a wall to make it hold like that. What you can do is you can uh, remove some random blocks and just add in some planks because it makes it look like uh, there's like sand over the planks or something. So it looks like it's lived in and, and people move around it. What you can do here is you can make a quick desk uh, for like customers or something if you want. You can place a trap door here if I could take a trap door. You can place a trap door there. You can even extend this out. Uh, not that one. You can g extend it out like this because you have this stair here which makes you have a lot more room that you can work with so if you want you can do that you can place uh, your trapdoor down here in the middle you can take some crafting tables crafting tables some furnaces and whatever you want to take place them all around the place wherever you want them just make it look as random as possible I guess and then some chests and maybe a cauldron 
There you go. Those are always good items to fill up your stuff. There you go. Maybe take some water. What you can do to decorate is you place a cauldron. You put some water in. And then you take an empty water bottle. Uh, bottle. And then you take that empty bottle and you like click it twice or something. So there's like a little bit of water in it, but not a lot. So just click it twice or once. So it looks like people actually live here and they, they took like some water out of it, you know? What you can do also is take some carpet and this is for some decoration more. And you can randomly place some carpet around here so it looks more detailed. Now last Lee, we're going to take stone buttons and everywhere we have this sticking out log you're just gonna place a button on it just like that uh, what this does is it gives it just that one more texture what you can say like okay it's not all the same it, it blends in with the cobblestone a lot so that's it's, it's, it's just a good block to have it's a, it's a good block really good block now what you can do if this is what it's like in a city uh, like it's over there. I'm just gonna show you over there. So just like here in a city, what you can do is you can make you you can add your path like this, and then what you can do like here is place a random cauldron here, put some water in it, some random chests, maybe some sugar cane, just a anything which makes uh, it look not repetitive and the same. Maybe add a little well, a, a point of interest building, uh, just. Basically anything what you can think of you just place it just anything so um, This this is it of the build uh, this this is how you make a, a little small desert house also what you can do uh, Before I forget is take some bone meal place the bone meal down and Remove the flowers because we are in a desert and I totally forgot about this roof same thing, fill it in with grass, remove the flowers, go back down, and fill this up with slabs. Uh, yeah, this is basically the building. Really simple, if you, you guys have any suggestions, like any, on things that I can do, like uh, tutorials, uh, maybe even a series, because I don't really know, this was like my, my uh, plan Z because I don't have any other plans. Uh, so if you guys could help me with that, that would be really, really appreciated. If you like, could leave a comment telling you, uh, telling me what you want. And I just came up with uh, a thing that you could do. You could place two stairs here, make this connect, and a slab on top. So you have this archway. You don't have to make this smooth sandstone. You can just place this and maybe even transition it like that. That looks better. So yeah, that's the building. I hope you enjoyed the building. I also hope you're going to like this video and you're going to rate this video. Share it with your friends, of course. And make sure that everybody else sees, sees it and help me grow and stuff. Because I really like growing and I really like your guys' feedback. And I really like your guys' uh, help and support. The last few days has been insanely support. And I love you guys for it. So thank you and I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye.